After a first departure last week, it was the turn of most of the Belgian detachment to settle in Romania as part of the Forward Land Forces FLF, mission. They will ensure the security of the NATO borders there within a battle group led by France and stationed in Sinkiu. Ludivine de Donda, Belgian Minister of Defense, in 2022, the Russian war in Ukraine put NATO on alert, which reacted by deploying its troops along the eastern border. From the start, the Belgian defense proved its reliability by responding to the call of its allies. Today, a detachment of men and women left for several months alongside our allies in order to ensure the security of the continent. I would like to express my thanks to all the members of this detachment for their commitment. Be proud of what you do and what you stand for. Your commitment in the field is a testimony to your courage and professionalism, but also a source of inspiration for all new recruits in our department. We are proud of you and your willingness to serve. The complete Belgian detachment of the Combined Arms Tactical Subgroup CATSG, consists of some 300 soldiers, including about 130 infantrymen from the battalion Bevriding E5 Liney from Leopoldsburg, equipped in particular with Piranha 5 combat vehicles. They are reinforced by specialists from the 11th Engineering Battalion, the 10th Communication and Information Systems Group, CIS, the Artillery Battalion, the 23rd Medical Battalion and a Luxembourg Reconnaissance Section. Support is provided by a logistics detachment led by the 18th Logistics Battalion. Following the second Russian invasion of Ukraine, in February 2022, NATO decided to activate the NATO Response Force, NRF. The key word for these multinational operations is interoperability, which means that different countries, units and weapon systems have the ability to cooperate effectively and exchange information.